So this was food. And today it's still pretty much food. So it's really not that gross. This is, this is not something that is really bad. Um, so we don't have to be too crazy about how interesting it is. Um, but what we do need to be crazy about is, is this all food? No. no. Would you want to make compost out of it? No. no. Yeah, big problem. So um, we're going to need to get uh, some good pictures, and we're going to need to, to get down some good data. But what are some of your initial observations about what you are seeing in this pile? And uh, maybe one of the teachers can call on there's like trash in there. Exactly. There's plastic, styrofoam. Styrofoam, yep. Let's see a milk carton. Milk carton. Good. And that should be the easiest thing. You know we have a like two separate container just for milk carton. Boom. Well, <laughs> perfect. That's what we should be seeing. I like that idea. Like a plastic <laughs> cup, a, pla um, a paper cup, a plastic a thing in, and then... Lots of trash. Soup. Where should where should the trash have gone? In the trash, in the trash bin. Okay, in the trash bin, the garbage. Good. Where could the milk carton have gone? In the milk carton bin. Mm -hmm. Now, if there was paper, we were talking about. We used to be able to put like I mean, like if it was a piece of cardboard, we used to be able to put it in here, a lunch bag, something like that. But we're going to start moving towards food. Encouraging to not do it. Yeah. Right. So. Um, for us to be able to send this to a compost, for us to even be able to pick this up, we have to have less than 2% by volume contamination. So the, the people that take this could not even pick they would it not, up? They would not be able to make compost from it. So that yeah. would all go into our garbage. Yeah. And then the more garbage we have, the more we pay. Yeah. Right? The more it costs us. And this goes in a landfill, which is a big hole in the ground. Yeah. It just sits there forever. And it doesn't get used to And also it kind of jeopardizes the program because we have to be we have to be consistently sending the compost facility clean material. And we can't change the, the system very quickly. So if we're sending this stuff would probably end up at the facility and the facility would have a very tough time screening it out. Yep. Um, and then it might eventually might say, hey, we can't we can't can't take your compost. Anymore. The facility is the compost. Yeah. Sorry. Couple of observations. Yeah. Well, the trash gets worse. The trash gets worse? Nope. Uh, not in our area. The trash gets worse. Yeah. It's leaking. That's okay. There's a hole in our pool. That's all right. That's fine. Well, we work in the Yeah. Uh, some other observations. Yeah. That was very interesting. Right. We're just getting started. All right, right. So uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna need uh, the what from this group here. Uh, the sorting all stars. Is that what you guys? Yeah. Remember? The sorting all stars. So to come up and show yourselves that it's really good all stars. So what we're going to do is we need you to grab anything that is squeaky or shiny garbage. Uh, so this would be anything that is trash. It's not food, right? We're looking for anything that is trash. So the best way to do this is to not just do one thing at a time. Here, I'll show you how to do this really quickly. If you grab a couple of things like that, you get a whole bunch of things, and then you walk over and We're going to leave the milk cards in a different way. Sending chills up my spine. Go well, ahead, girls. You can, the mountain sorting all stars, you can add to that. Yeah. Yep, let's keep going. Um, yep. gonna, we have this is like a whole bag of burgers. Well, we, we'll, we'll look at it when we're eating. 